Hey, 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 welcome to day nine of our 30 day yoga trapeze challenge for weight loss and fitness. We are going to be doing a party mix of HIT, Pilates, you name it. We're just gonna work everything in today since we're coming back into our practice after our two rest days. So we'll go ahead and get started with a little bit of a warm up. We're just gonna stand in front of the trapeze, just doing some big arm circles backward, the breaths in and out. And again, please remember to like, subscribe, share with a friend. It really helps me to keep posting these videos. Other direction. How are we feeling after those two days? Feeling ready to come back? Leave a comment. Nice. Then we're going to take the feet about as wide as a mat. Soft knees, just gentle twist. Making, to look, making sure to look over that back shoulder. For four, three, two, one, then coming to center. We're gonna hold on to the highest handles, taking our left leg on the outside, so facing to the side. We're just going to lift that right leg. Left leg, big swings, forward and back. Breathing. Four, three, two, and one. Nice, other side. Coming onto the weight of the left leg, right leg, kick. So happy to be back in my home studio back in Miami with humidity. <laughs> Feels good. Four, three, two, and one. Nice. So we're just gonna get started with our hit stuff first to get that out of the way. So we'll grab the tallest handles, bringing the handles in front. We're gonna be right underneath the hanging point, pulling the elbows in wide. We're going to do jumping jacks. We're gonna jump out and in. If you need to step out and in, you can. We'll begin that in three, two, one, begin. 30 seconds. Twenty seconds. Keep breathing. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice. We'll just take a fifteen second break. As I demonstrate the next pose, we're going to hold our medium handles. Step back so we have some resistance. I'm looking up at the hanging point. Then we're gonna come down into a chair squat and then jump and then come back to that chair squat. If you need to, you can always just lift the heels, press up, or even just stand up, come back. Maybe even add the arms into this if you're not doing a jump. So we'll get ready in two and one, begin. Jump. 45 seconds. Again, we can just lift the heels or even just stand up, pressing the arms away. Whatever you need to do to keep going, keep breathing. We have 10 seconds. Oh, I'm sorry. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice. Taking a bit of a break. As I demonstrate our next workouts, we're going to take our lowest handles, placing them out. We're going to walk the feet back so I'm still a bit in front of my hanging point, and we're going to do some mountain climbers. So, breathing into your body, we'll start in five, four, three, get ready, two, and one. Keep going, keep breathing. <laughs> and keep going, I need a big clock here for these hits workouts. 
Oh, there you go. 20 seconds. Fifteen seconds. Whew. You gotta keep going. Five, four, three, two, one. Stand it up. Get the hands right behind the head. Softly stepping side to side. Maybe some big arm swings. Whew. Good job. Ah, I hate cardio, but it's necessary. So now we're going to move on to our Pilates portion. We'll go ahead and take the handles of the lowest ones, slide them up, placing the arch of the foot into the handle, into the fabric, coming to lie back. So I tend to not put music in my videos. Let me know if you like that because I think, you know, sometimes I don't like the music people choose for their videos. So I like to play my own. Let me know if you want me to add music to these or if you're liking getting to choose your own while you watch this. So both feet are in the ham in the bottom straps, pushing out and away. So I have straight legs, softly bent knee. Then we're gonna do Pilates roll-ups. So we're going to inhale, taking the arms right above the shoulders, then exhale, press into your feet, slowly fold it forward, then inhale to rise up. Exhale, nice and slow and controlled, roll back and down and open. Then inhale, arms above the shoulders. Exhale, push forward. Inhale to sit up, flat back. Exhale, roll it back. If you need to, this can just be a crunch and you hold, then inhale, open down. Or if you need to bend your knees and crunch, find something that works for you. Exhaling, forward, inhale to rise up. Exhale, take it back. Inhale, arms up and exhale, folding forward and inhale up. Exhale. Nice, let's do that three more times. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale, slowly roll. Inhale, arms. Exhale. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, slowly roll. Inhale, arms. Exhale. Inhale to lift, exhale, roll down. Nice, last one, we're gonna keep it lifted. Nice, then inhale, flat back, exhale, round and curl. Inhale, flat back up, exhale, forward. Up and forward. Four, three, two, and one, nice, now roll it halfway down, keep the shoulders off the mat, press into your feet, hold for four, three, two, one, release, you can bend your knees, <sighs> taking a breath. Okay, so now we're going to take our feet out, but transfer your right foot into the left strap, then <laughs> left leg into the right strap if you're Left leg just went on top, you're gonna to rotate to that knee to come onto your forearms. We're gonna do some knee tucks here. So elbows right underneath the shoulders. Exhale, press into the hips. If you need to bend your knees and just hang here, you can. We're going to be nice and strong. Exhale, bring both knees as we lift the hips, let the chin tuck slightly, then inhale out. You can also just try one knee at a time and then the other, or both knees, and down. So we're going to do eight sets of those regular, then two count, four of them slow. So 
Coming up, here we go. Eight, exhale, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and then one. Nice, take a little break. Oh, one more round of breath. Hmm, nice, then coming up, we're gonna do four, two count. So exhale, exhale, inhale, out, up, up, back, back two more. In, in, out, out. Then we're going to hold this in, little pulse. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, set it down. Ooh. <sighs> Very nice. Mm, also gets the top of the quads a little bit there. <sighs> so now we're just gonna come into a plank hold. So nice and strong, pressing down into the elbows, the forearms, lifting the hips. Hold it here for 30 seconds. Breathe. Got it. 20 seconds. Fifteen. Five, four, three, two, one. Lower down. Ah, you can rest, stack your forearms. Rest the forehead down a moment. Maybe you swing the feet side to side. Ooh. Then we'll go ahead and take our feet out of the straps. Gently press to stand up. <sighs> nice, so now we're gonna be working a little bit sculpting in the legs here. So we're gonna take our lowest strap on the right side. I'm gonna face away from the strap and set my, the top of my foot right in. You can always grab your highest handles for a bit of stability and balance. I'm gonna kind of hop my left foot forward. And then I'm going to bend into both knees, press back through my right leg, and then gently pull it in. Keeping both knees bent, exhale forward, inhale back. So keep the hips centered underneath that hanging point. Just working that back leg. Back and in. Nice, breathe. And got it for four, three, two, and then one, hold it back, little press back, pulse. Pulse down and back at the same time. Press, press, breathe. Four, three, two, one, hold it here, bend both knees. Four, three, two, one, stand it up. Nice, we'll go ahead and step that leg out, grabbing hold of the top straps. You wanna get your left foot in, just on the top of the ankle, hopping that right foot forward just slightly, then hanging right underneath the center points. Bending both knees, we're just sliding that left leg in and back. Exhale and inhale, in and out, breathe. For four, three, two, and one, press it back, little pulse back and down, back and down, breathe. Four, three, two, and one. Nice deep bend in both knees, hold it, spiral those hips in. Four, three, two, one, stand it up. Beautiful. So now we're going to lie back into the hammock. You wanna take your medium level handles, place the arch of your foot 
right in. Moving that rubber piece out of the way. So then I'm gonna slide my hips off so it's just my upper body that's in the hammock as well as my legs supported by the straps. Then I'm going to lift the hips up, bend the knees in, and then drop the knees wide. So keeping the legs here, we're going to just press the legs out wide, bend it in. Out wide, keeping the hips nice and lifted, up and in. Exhale and inhale. If you wanna be on the ground, you can. You don't have to be floating in the hammock. Just adds for a lot more stability work. For four, three, two, and one. We're gonna keep the feet together. Just tuck the hips up and tuck and tuck. Breathe. Four, three, two, and one. Hold it up, just flat the knees down and down. Breathe, you got it. Four, three, two, and one. Hold it here, hips high. Four, three, two, one. Nice and slow. Send the hips down. Bring the knees into the chest. <sighs> and nice and slow. We're going to step the right foot out, press into that left leg, get a nice stretch. If you wanna reach for that strap, to gently pull the leg in, you can. <sighs> you fold it nice and slow, left leg down, right foot back in. Just gently pressing that leg out. If you want more of a stretch, grab hold of that strap. Really let the hips sink down. <sighs> nice and slowly release. We're gonna smack that left ankle on top of the right knee. Really set the hips down. You can really wrap that knee down and back. <sighs> Maybe three ankle rotations one direction and then the other with that floating foot. Nice and switch. Ankle rotations. You can reach the arm straight up. Beautiful, and then we're going to walk the knees underneath the strap. Gently press the hips forward but then shift the shoulders back. You can clasp your fingers behind your head. We're just getting a stretch through the quads and the belly, the psoas. <sighs> One more round of breath. <sighs> nice and slowly sliding down. Wrap the hands around the fabric, then just let the chest drop forward, getting a stretch in the shoulders. <sighs> then slowly sit up. Whew. Okay, that was a total body burner. <laughs> let me know your comments, questions, and feedback. Stay tuned for tomorrow, which is day 10, and we will be one third way through. Let me know in the comments, have you been completing all the videos? Maybe even if it's not day by day, maybe you're doing two at a time to make up for a day you missed, that's okay. Just knowing what is going on in your life and adjusting for that, but still staying consistent is key. I love you, have a great day.